Hello, welcome back from the Matrix. I'm JD. I bet every time I do that, my my I like my muscle memory wants to say I'm Metroid Man. 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 I am Metroid Man. I'm Metroid Man. And I have to like stop myself and be like, no, I'm not doing that cringy. I'm not Metroid Man. I have to be like, that's a different guy. I'm not doing that cringy shit anymore. I mean, yeah, that's just a different character. Why can't you walk on lava, but you can walk on water? Uh, I can only walk on water on the over... The, like, the... Overworld But screen. why? Uh, because they're magic boots. If you think about it from Link's perspective, that makes zero sense. It, because yeah, it Link's doesn't make any sense. You said you had a topic you were gonna talk about. I was gonna say bend round. Because I saw, I saw the thing over there, and I was like, ha, remember that? Um, yeah, the Majora's Mask. Not sponsored, but there's this company that makes metal plate. Cut out the name of the company. Because I'm not doing any advertisement for any company if they're not paying me. <laughs> but there's this company that makes metal poster plates. And they're actually pretty nice. So, we have a few hung up around here. They are pretty cool looking. Yeah. The Star Wars one's pretty cool. Yeah, especially if you're a complete nerd and have no sense of creativity and just take it from other sources. So I need to go back and tell that guy to give me the goddamn upstrike so I can actually complete this temple. Do you know where that is? Yes. And look at this. You can't walk on all of the water. What the fuck? You can only walk on some of it. You can only walk on very- wow, very useful that the- that- these very specific shoes They're magic only walk, shoes. You only walk on very specific types of water. You walk on the invisible... It's like Indiana Jones 3. What? Indiana Jones 3. When he walks on on the invisible bridge. What the fuck? When does that happen? At the end of the movie, when he's like... It, the last trial is, le is like... I, I remember. Trust in God. I remember that. And then he walks across the thing. I remember that, but also... You why don't... the fuck does that happen? What do you mean? It makes no sense. Why is it invisible? It's only invisible to where you're standing from that tiny- Because it has that tiny opening. That makes zero so, sense. No, I know. It doesn't make any sense at all in real life. But, that's the best I got for- In the context <laughs> with the movie. It's literally just like- It's a really small crevice, so like maybe- And how would that even- How would they even do that? It doesn't make any sense. Like- if you it doesn't, because if something is visible, it should be visible from all angles. No, but it, but it's painted to look like the the bottomless pit. <laughs> yeah, okay, so I guess I don't have depth perception anymore. No, it's a movie. <laughs> Indiana Jones, oh man, famous for only having one eye. <laughs> He's a pirate. <laughs> yeah, maybe it would make sense if it was Captain Barbosa crossing the fucking path. Even he has two eyes! Who's somebody who has one eye in Pirates of the Caribbean? I don't know. No one! They all have two eyes. The fuck, there's no one with an eye patch? That's... that... that'd be... that's strange. I feel like that's incorrect. There's gotta be at least one person with an eye patch. It's a pirate movie. There's one guy who has a wooden eye. That's... But eye patch? There's gotta be. I don't think so. Pirates of the Caribbean is so good, it's so underrated. It's really long. The first one is really long. I never got into it because when I was really younger, I was scared of it. Because all the, the skeletons that came alive they are scary. were terrifying. It is a scary movie. But I was not afraid of anything when I was young. I literally watched horror movies because I thought they were cool. Like, I liked people dying <laughs> and shit in them. Um, like, Alien. I thought that was sick, because that was like one of my fantasies, is that an alien would come down and just kill everyone. Oh, what do I need? Do which I need... spell is this? It's not a spell! I need the upstrike. What? Oh, give me, give me the phone. Oh, he's supposed to teach me reflect. And I'm supposed to get the upstrike from somebody else? What? That's what I thought, I thought this was for, for reflect. I was like, you need eight containers for reflect. Alright, we're back. So we were talking about John Tron. Yeah, and how he's less spontaneous. He's yeah, yeah. Like, I don't know. But that also kind of super age. entertaining still. And I love John Tron, I always will. Is this the fucking right one? But 
I don't know. Everything just comes across as a lot more scripted nowadays. I don't know. I don't know if he's, like, afraid of being spontaneous. Or maybe he just, like, doesn't have that same spirit anymore that he used to. But, uh... That was, like... He obviously doesn't upload as, much, as frequently anymore. <laughs> I mean, that's always been an issue with him, is the upload frequency. Ever since Game Grumps. But... Then he, he left, and then he was still the same. <laughs> yeah. Game Grumps, he had the excuse of, like, oh, well, I have Game Teach Grumps Teach me things. But... Man, I'm so glad you had to wait until I told me. I love it when games guess what lock I still can't features until you get the tutorial for it. That wasn't even a tutorial. It was just you can have it now. It's basically a tutorial. They're basically just teaching you this thing, right? That like the game already has a feature for, but it's locked until somebody tells you how to do it. It's so dumb. That's like an Elden Ring. If you like, you couldn't use the shield until somebody told you that you could use the shield. That's just fucking stupid. Why would you do that? I need to upgrade my magic in order to get the reflection spell. I've never had this trouble where they wouldn't give me the thing before. But I'm I sure also that's how the game is supposed to work. <laughs> I don't know if it if it ever like well like on the original hardware it was just broken, God. so it didn't work. But Okay, but Pirates of the Caribbean is really good. I do they remember the first one being good, because, like... They weren't set out to make, like... A billion of them? Like, a really good movie. It was just kind of just supposed to be a movie to tie in with the ride. But it ended up being one of the best movies Was it ever? literally made because of a ride? Yeah, they had... I thought the, the ride came out afterwards. No, the ride... They had the, um... Whatever it's called, Dead Men Tell No Tales or something. They had the Pirates Ride in Disney World. Yeah. And they wanted to make a movie tie-in with the ride. Um, but it's like, it's always been a ride. It's been a very famous ride for a long time. Um, and so they made the movie. And it was just supposed to be like a shitty little tie-in. But it turned out to be... I don't know, the director or something was like, fucking, you just wait, I'm gonna make a really <laughs> good movie. And they did, and it's so cool, and it's just like, they introduce stuff, like, in the beginning, and then sort of evolve and permutate those ideas in sort of, like, Fuck. funny, sort of pun sort of ways. Like, at the beginning of the movie, let me just explain. Yeah. At the beginning of the movie, Captain Jack Sparrow's in jail, and everybody else, and he's, like, there with Will. And everybody else is there, uh, trying to, like, get this dog with a key to try to get, get the key to them. But Jack Swear's like, I can get out of here whenever I want. He's talking to Will, and Will's like, oh, really? And then he just does this thing where he, like, gets, like, this bench from inside of the cell and props it up against the bars, and it lifts the whole grate up, right? And then the whole thing just falls out. Mm-hmm. And at that, at the beginning, introduces the idea of leverage oh, okay. to the to the film. And he's like, you just need leverage. And then later on in the film, he uses the idea of leverage again. But instead of it being like physical, literal leverage, it's like psychological leverage. Like, like yeah. blackmail sort of shit. That's so fucking cool! He introduces the idea of leverage as like this Chekhov's gun thing, but then he br- What the fuck?! <laughs> and then later on in the movie, he, they bring up the idea again, but as like, leverage over people. That's amazing! That's so cool! And they do that all throughout the film with all sorts of stuff. And like, all throughout the whole franchise with all sorts of stuff. Um, and I think that is really cool. And that's awesome. And it's just like... So surprisingly well, like, it has no reason to be this good, but it <laughs> is. It's really good. It's honestly one of my favorite movies ever, and I'm not even, I'm not even biased for, like, nostalgic, nostalgic reasons. Oh, man, That's just, like, it just is legitimately a great movie. That's the what are, what is happening? That's the next temple. I need to grind to get the yes. things to beat the, the temple wrong, but all these yeah, enemies are impossible to fucking defeat. I can't even walk by them. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha.
<laughs> yes. <laughs> I understand the frustration so well that it's just making me laugh. Yeah, because this is what you were doing earlier, except for the different <laughs> game completely. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, man. I need some fucking kind of flute thing to move that... whatever the fuck that is. See, the thing is, like, with Elden Ring, I'm able to do all my grinding off-screen. Yeah, I didn't realize I was gonna need to do this. Cause there's- there's just like so much... There's just so much shit. And... We're never ever gonna be able to fit everything in that game in a series. Yeah. So it's clear for me that I can just kinda like... Do dungeons and do like side shit. And not really have to worry about missing anything important. For the series. Um, and we can just, like, stick to the main storyline, and it'll be fine, and I can just do a whole bunch of other shit on the side, and that's fine. Like, there's always gonna be something interesting to do. In that game, and that's great. Fuck. The game is really slow-paced, though. It's like, you really have to be patient with, like, just searching around and exploring and shit. But it's not even, like, boring to do that. It's so interesting and fun to just go exploring. You just get lost for hours just looking around at shit and yeah. finding stuff. And then you're like, wow, I haven't done anything in like an hour except for just walk around. But I've still like had so much fun just doing that. And yeah, that's so cool. See, that's what I expected with, with Skyrim. Like, I, I, I got Skyrim a yeah. while ago. But I never really got anywhere into it because I was just like... <laughs> Just talking to a bunch of people and not really getting to do anything. Yeah. I don't know. I don't really like Bethesda games all that much, to be honest. That's the only one I've ever played, I think. I tried to get into Fallout. Um, and I started I started with Fallout 4. I just couldn't get into it. I don't know. It just didn't seem fun to me. I mean, I know a lot of people really love Fallout, and I, I know it's a good game. But... <sighs> Yeah, it's just not my not my cup of tea kind of stuff. Man. And I feel like I feel the same way with a lot of Bethesda games. Um, I wanted to get into Skyrim. Honestly, when Elder Scrolls Six comes out, I might play that. But also, Bethesda has this really big issue of just not finishing their games, <laughs> which is a lot of studios nowadays. Well, we can just sell you the other part of the game. But the thing is, like, Bethesda doesn't even update them. <laughs> they just leave it to modders to fix. <laughs> you know, they they release broken games, and then the mod, like, the modding community comes in and fixes the issues well before they ever come up with a fix themselves. <laughs> well, why would we spend money on something people can do for free? Because the whole It Just Works philosophy it's... it... it doesn't work. <laughs> you know, Bethesda is like... One of the key... Uh... You know, one of the key technology companies Fucking that bitch. uses... The philosophy of, it just works. It just works. It's not a bug, it's a feature. Except this is a video game, right? Nah, man. That does not work. Like, programs are expected to have a certain sort of behavior that you design the program to have. And if it doesn't do that, it doesn't work. It's broken. Why won't any of these fucking big guys come out? I want to play with them. I want to play with the big kids. Dude, you better run. <laughs> Holy shit. I forgot I could upstab. <laughs> Remember that thing I The thing that you just spent like 10 minutes trying to get? I'm just trying to defeat the boss, man. Well, you can't beat the boss, man, unless we all collectively come together. Yeah, you're right. We need to go on strike, man. We need to unionize to beat the boss, man. We're going on strike. Remember when SpongeBob taught kids about what a strike was? Yeah, Mr. SpongeBob tried to teach kids about workers' rights. <laughs> Damn. Silly Mr. SquarePants. Workers don't have rights. Dude, it's almost like all of the media and all of the art for like the past century has been trying to te teach us as a society that capitalism is bad and we look at it and we're just like uh <laughs> look at this sci-fi fantasy <laughs> funny sponge 
<laughs> like there's just one overwhelming message for almost all art for the past two centuries. And it's that capitalism is bad and letting greed run rampant throughout society will always have uh, lead to awful consequences. Funny sponge guy. <laughs> Laugh funny. <laughs> funny sponge. Around the time where the message was most salient and like least subtle was around the 90s and the 2000s. When it was like... With like System of a Down. Unplugged from the Matrix. Blah, blah, blah. And the Matrix. And Fight Club. I'm burping my ass off because of this coke. You had all these punk bands, like Green Day, all this. It was the- the message was the most salient, but it's always been the same message, right? Ever since- for music, it's been like ever since the 60s, you know, when you had the first wave protest music with like Creedence Clearwater Revival and stuff like that. Um, but it's all- it's all been the same. Pretty much since the 1800s, art's kind of been trending this way. And it's just like, people just refuse to see it, you know? They refuse to acknowledge it, especially nowadays. Nowadays worse than ever. And I don't really understand how you could miss that. How do you listen to Rage Against the Machine and then just like, It's because vote stereo Republican. go... <laughs> how do you listen to Rage Against the Machine? and then proceed to vote Republican for the next 20 years. How do you do that? I don't get it. How can that... It does not compute. How can, like, especially, like, you know, like, Gen X dads nowadays, especially. They listen to all that shit. They, listen, they love shit like System of a Down and Rage Against the Machine and Nirvana and all these new metal bands. They are literally screaming in your face. Like, there's no subtlety about it. That's all they're saying. How can these be your favorite bands, and yet you just refuse to listen to the message? It doesn't... I never got that. I just don't... I don't get it. Whoa. The same thing. You can say the same thing for the boomers, too, though. Because, like, they grew up listening to shit like Creedence Clearwater Revival. Oh, my fucking God. And, and shit like, uh... Like, all that hippie music. You know? All the hippies died. And they- They did all their drugs and they died. And now maybe. we got all the shitty hippies. Or not- I mean, the shitty boomers. Now I've got all the shitty Christian boomers. We like didn't do opposite, drugs and we survived. They were the opposite end of the spectrum. I feel like that's not even- there's no way that's even true, though. No, but it sounds true. And that's- It sounds- <laughs> it's- it's so, like... It's so just like what the reality is today that it feels like it's true. But it's not. It's not true. Even the hippies are just conservatives nowadays. Oh, my fucking balls. Even the hippies are just conservatives. But how? How can you do that? How did- I don't understand that. How do you go from being, like, one of the most progressive generations of all time to literally, like, 20 years later in the 80s just fucking doing a complete 180 and going full-on conservative? Do you understand? <laughs> I don't understand why it happens, but... I can- I can understand people not understanding art, because that happens all the time. I'm literally just gonna die, yeah. Why yeah, but it- but literally all art? How? Especially songs. Songs literally just spell it out for you. They're just telling you what they want you to hear. it's a good idea, and they buy it, and then that's it. They just bought the idea, and that's- It's like buying a card. Like, this has I, got like, the sentiment. I don't get it. Like, I can understand not not getting a painting right away, but a song? They're telling you, they're saying it, out loud, what they want you to understand. In one ear, out the other. And yet they get mad at us for not listening. Like, bro. What are you hearing? If you're not hearing the song, what are you hearing? And they say the kids don't listen, man. We listen better than you ever did. Maybe it's not a listen- it's not a problem with listening, it's a problem with the comprehension. I don't know how you don't comprehend your own language, but alright. You can't say, oh, because they're- it's just because they're old. Like, oh, old people naturally tend to be conservative. That's not always true. It certainly wasn't true up to the 40s. Do you remember the fucking Zelda show? Like, the Super Mario Bros. Super Show Zelda show? 
where he was, excuse me, princess. Yeah, except there wasn't a live action component to that. No, there wasn't. But it came out in tandem with that show because they plugged it at the end of every episode. <laughs> They were yes. Like, Check that's out true. the Zelda show that isn't gonna work out. It's all it's all on Amazon. I haven't rewatched it yet, but I've been meaning to. That I, show kind of sucks. No, it does. <laughs> which is why I haven't watched it again yet. Because it's it is just a stupid '80s kids cartoon. Yeah. But it's but with fun. The Zelda theme. Oh yeah, you can't. It's walk fun the because water. I watched it when I was a kid. So you know, but. I didn't. Yeah, so you might not find it as fun. I don't even know what I would have watched it on. I got it through Netflix, because I, I ordered the DVDs. <laughs> Damn. So you would have been, like, a middle schooler then by the time you would have watched it. I mean, not exactly. But something like, like that. maybe fifth grade or something. Probably around then. I don't know. Hmm. Well, I, I only knew about it because the Super Mario Super Show was on... Streaming yeah. Netflix, which was like brand new at the time or whatever. I wasn't really allowed to order movies through Netflix because you can only get one at a time. No, we could get three. You could get three. Yeah, we had, we had like the plan where you could get three, or it was either three or two, and I got to get one, and then my family got to get one if we wanted one. Because we, we interesting. Got, we did go to the. I, I still remember going to, like, the video store, Hollywood Video. Yes! And I fucking loved it. And that was a Blockbuster. It. No, Blockbuster was even more north. No, I, Blockbuster I went to was, Hollywood Video. Blockbuster was down by... It Yeah, it, it was more down, north it was than down Hollywood in, Video. It was down in Ohio. No. <laughs> it was, though. Blockbuster was down by... It was down yeah, south. it was two blocks north of Hollywood Video, which is where I went. Yes. <laughs> it was literally on Washington Street. They were both on Washington Street. Yeah. Yeah. Why the fuck wouldn't you just go to Blockbuster? Because we went to Hollywood Video. Because my Well, I'm probably because my, my dad's friend worked there. I thought he worked at Action Video. No. Mm. Which one's Action Video? Is that the last one that closed That was down? the one that was up uh, by Century? No, that was... My dad said that he never went in there because he, he was pretty sure that on his card that he didn't return it. Yes, I know that. that. That was... That was that. Which fucking place am I supposed to go into? I've already forgot. I'm supposed to talk to some old lady. Dude, how do these fuckers just have dungeons in their houses? It's a bunker for... Uh... You know, nuclear bombs. <laughs> yeah. Now I can reflect. And it cost fucking... Bullshit. That... Sucks. All right, well, that explains why you need six. Still annoying. I like how they have no numbers at the top of the screen, but that you're just like supposed to gauge how much the number twenty-four is worth of that bar. Yeah, it's it's well, like you could you could look and try it and be like, oh, it's that, but it's just like, <clears throat> but that's not even like a definite. No, because it changes every time you level up. Like if you if you level up my magic to eight, it's gonna cost less. That's so weird. But it, it, the number will decrease. So I guess you could still go by the numbering or whatever. It's like, shield is that, one brick or whatever. It's not always that. <sighs> Ridiculous. Go yeah, down. It's almost like Zelda 2 sucks ass. It doesn't suck ass. ass. It just sucks. <laughs> it sucks ass. What were they thinking? Sonic Boom. Remember Sonic Boom? Ba -bum. No, you'd put you'd have to put do the drowning sound. Yes, I remember we played boop, Sonic boop, Boom boop, boop. for like two episodes. Three episodes. Damn. Is that even true? Do you even know that? Yeah, it is three episodes. <laughs> that series sucked. I'm sick and tired of these brick walls. Okay, well. Uh, and so much for reflect. Well, no, I have to use the reflect thing. I need to use it on the big, the big KKK guy. There's a big one. That God fight. Damn. Die. Oh fuck <laughs> you. Just some two hit dude. Well, he's only two hits because I upgraded the sword super fast. Yeah. That ex helps playing this game extremely. It does help expediate the process. 
He's just fucking sitting there trying not to get hit by some dude it's... the whole time. Yeah. Fuck off. It's crazy because that's what I did with Elden Ring. I upgraded the shit out of oh, my weapons. Fuck, I don't know which way to go now. Boss time! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even mean to do that. I knew that was gonna happen. That was an accident. You had one little sliver of health left. Alright, reflect. Shield. And get the life ready. Or maybe the fire will help, I don't know. Oh, fuck, okay. Oh, wow. There we go. It's like a Mega Man boss. This is the only boss I've actually paid attention to. This is the, this is completely different to every, every other boss. What even are they? The, I they're whiz robes. They I've, are whiz robes. No, I know, but what are the other bosses? Uh, the other guy was mostly knights. The first guy was a horse. The other guy was a helmet head, and the se the second guy was a, on horseback. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not yeah, the, they weren't very interesting. That one was pretty cool. He uh, reminds me of, uh... What's the guy's name? The guy from Link to the Past? Oh, yeah. It's like the main villain. Oh, Agni! Agonim. Agonim Rod. Yes, you're right. Agonim. Health, or should I... Was wait? cool. Uh, na, 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 na. Yeah. Heck yeah. Alright, now it's a rock. 